If dyslexia is a language processing disorder, why do dyslexic children so commonly have struggles in math? This is a wonderful question that I'm commonly asked. At its core, when we look at the root of dyslexia in the brain, it is language-based, but this doesn't mean that the effects of dyslexia can't impact math. And struggles with aspects of math doesn't necessarily mean that student has comorbid dyscalculia. Doing well in math requires so many skills and ways of thinking, such as logical, conceptual, and spatial reasoning. It also draws on organization, neatness, executive function, and computational skills. These can be sources of strengths and weaknesses as it applies to children with dyslexia. Although the higher level conceptualization of math can be an area of strength for children with dyslexia, some of the more basic skills can be weaknesses for them, keeping them from gaining the confidence to believe that they're good at math. One of the most common places that children with dyslexia struggle in math is with the memorization of math facts, such as multiplication. Children with dyslexia can struggle with low working memory, that area of the brain that's designed to hold on to something for just a split second and use it immediately, resulting in trouble with memorization and mastery. Multi-step directions can also be a challenge for students with dyslexia due to those memory issues, sometimes weak processing speed, and potential attention or executive function challenges. Kiddos with dyslexia also can have trouble with uh, time, sequence, and order. Of course, the reading and vocabulary of word problems is obviously an issue with dyslexia, causing them to potentially miss a lot of key critical information provided in that problem. So how can we make math work for kids with dyslexia? Some easy accommodations to build in would be the ability to use a calculator, breaking down multi-step directions, employing multi-sensory techniques and more visuals into math instruction, using grid paper for alignment, and reading those word problems to them. Since often children with dyslexia think non-linearly, which is one of their gifts, not requiring them to show every step of their word, their work, excuse me, is to achieve that answer can be extremely helpful and less taxing on the child. Know that experienced professionals such as those at Dyslexia On Demand are available to guide you through establishing the highest level of individualized intervention for your child, primarily in reading and spelling, but even in math. For more information or to schedule a personal meeting with me, please go to dyslexiaondemand.com to learn more about how we can help your child.